Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to go over how we can create a main menu inside Unreal Engine. So I'm in the third person template, but you could be in any template. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to my window and go to my content browser and just click content browser one, just so that's permanently here. Then what I'm going to do is just right click and create a new folder. Just call this UI and we can head inside here and we're going to create our main menu. So to do that, we first want to right click and then go to user interface and select widget blueprint and then select user widget and i'm just going to call this my main menu and then we can double click and open it up and once we're in here we just want to go to the palette on the top left and look for our canvas panel and just select it and drag it into this hierarchy tab and this will be our canvas where we're going to create our main menu next in the palette we want to look for a vertical box and just drag it into the center of the screen and make it a bit wider. And then you just want to anchor it and anchor it to the middle of the screen. And then inside of this vertical box, we're going to add three buttons. And these buttons will be the options on our menu. So under the palette, I'm going to look for a button and just drag this button three times into the vertical menu. So I'll just do this three times. And with each button, I want to say there's a bit of a gap between each of the buttons. So just select the first one and we'll go to padding and under the bottom and I put a padding of a value of 100. This will basically push the button uh, beneath it down by a space of 100. So you can just play around with the values here if you wanted to. I could also put a padding at the top of 100 and we can see that it pushes this um, button 100 from the top. I'm also just going to put a padding of 100 here and I'm just going to leave that one blank. Next, I'm going to add some text to my button. So to do that, we're going to go back to the palette and look for text. And we can just simply drag from the text here and drag it onto our button and it'll drag the text onto it. So we're just going to do this three times. For this first text, I'm going to make it say the word start. So we're going to go to the content and then under the text here, just type in what we want it to be. So I'm going to type in start. For here, I'm going to type in options. And for here, I'm gonna type in quit. Now, my text is quite small, so I want the size of it to be a bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do is select each text. And then what we can do is go to font. And then we can see size here. And I'm just gonna make it so the button is 40. And as we can see, that makes all of my text a bit bigger. Next, we're gonna make it so that our main menu basically appears in a level and we can set up all these buttons so that they work. So to do that, I'm just gonna close this main menu and then I'm going to create a new level. So I'm going to go to File, New Level, and we want to select an empty level and just click Create. And then the first thing I'm going to do is click Save. It's going to ask me where I want to save this level. So I'm just going to save it in my content folder and I'll call this the Main Menu Map and click Save. And one thing, when you create a new level, if I click Play, we can see that I start as um, this third person character or you'll start as whatever game mode your project is in. We don't want this. We want it so that when we are in a main menu level that no character spawns. In order to achieve this effect, what we can do is create a blueprint. So I'm just gonna right click and go blueprint cast. And then we wanna select game mode base and just call this menu game mode. And now if I go to my window and we go to world settings, a world settings tab will appear and if I just drag this menu game mode onto my game mode override, right now it's blank. Now if I click save and click play, we can see that I'll spawn no character. And that is because inside of my main menu game mode, there's no default pawn class. If I say make this the third person character, I'd always spawn as the third person character. So we just want to leave that blank. That way, no character will spawn inside of our title game mode. Next, we want it so that our main menu actually appears inside of this level. To achieve that effect, we just want to click this little three um, dots and then go to Open Level Blueprint. And then Event Begin Play, what we're going to do is just drag off this node and look for Create Widget. The widget we're going to create is going to be the main menu. And then we just want to simply drag up here and look for Add to Viewport and click Compile. And if I close this and go Play, we can see I have my main menu with the Start, Options and Quit button. The next thing I'm going to do is basically make it so that all these buttons work. And I'm also going to add a background to my main menu so we're not just staring at this black screen. So I'm just going to close this, head back to my main menu, 
and when I click the start button, I'll just select this button, we can scroll down and go to unclipped. And when this button is clicked, I'm just going to drag up here and for open level by name. And then we can type in the level we want it to open. So I'm inside of the third person um, template and the level is called the third person map. So I'm just going to take a copy of the name, copy it, head back to my main menu and just paste the name inside of here. And then I'm going to my designer. For the scope of this video, we're not going to create an options menu. Although in a later video, I'm going to go over how we can create a full options menu. So we'll leave this blank. For the quit button, we just want to select it. Again, scroll down and go unclicked. And unclicked, we can just drag off here and put quit game. And this will make it so that we quit the game. Next, I'm going to basically add a background for my main menu. So I found this cool Unreal Engine background on Google. So I'm just going to drag it inside of my project. And then right click, go to fractions and apply paper to texture settings just to make it clear. Then if I head back to my main menu and go to the designer, under the palette, I'm going to look for image. Just drag it in. And then for anchor, I'm just going to anchor it so it's across the whole screen. And I'll make the offset zero, this zero, this zero, basically everything zero. And then for the brush, I'm just going to select the image that I imported. Okay, so it's called UV mannequin image. One thing for backgrounds, you kind of want the image resolution to be 1920 by 1080. Then to make this image basically appear behind our buttons, what we can do is just change the Z order to be minus one. And as we can see, this will put the image behind the vertical box menu that we made. Because if I select this vertical box, you can see that its Z order is zero. So the way the Z order works, basically the higher numbers will basically be displayed on top. And now that I have my image, I'm actually just going to select my vertical box and move the main menu here, just so it looks a bit better. And I'll also just move the anchor so it's here. And now that I can compile, let's test out our main menu. So if I go play, if I click start, I'm taken to the third person game mode. If I click quit, the game quits. There's one more thing we need to fix with our main menu. If I click the play button, as you can see, when I start, I first have my mouse. However, if I click, my mouse disappears and I can't really get access to it again. Also, if I click the play button and I click start, when I start my game, I start with this mouse cursor. We don't want it here, so we're just going to add a couple of settings to fix that. So we go back to our main menu and we're going to head back to the graph. Event construct, so this is going to fire as soon as the main menu is spawned. What we're going to do is just right click and it will get player controller. And then we're going to drag up here and for set show mouse cursor. Just leave this button checked and this will make it so the mouse cursor basically appears in the game. And then we're going to drag up here and look for set input mode UI only. And then hook this into here. And this will just make it so the mouse cursor basically appears on the screen. And then when we click our start game button, we're going to basically do the opposite. So I'm going to copy this bit, so I'll get player controller and set show mouse cursor. Paste it here. Although this time we want to uncheck the show mouse cursor. This will make it so the mouse cursor is hidden. Then we want to drag up here and look for set game mode only. So set input mode game only. And then hook this up and click compile. And now if I click play, so I'm just going to go full screen. I can click my mouse cursor and we can see my mouse still appears. If I click the start button, my mouse cursor disappears and I'm spawned straight into the game without my mouse cursor. And we have a functioning main menu. So that's all for this tutorial and that's how you can create a main menu.